I'm, I'm doing a, a debate with a leading archaeologist uh, on the Joe Rogan experience on the 24th of October. Joe be having people oh, debate, huh? That's his yeah, thing. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a very good thing that this is happening. It's the first time that somebody representing the alternative point of view it's has actually been out, debated huh? by somebody from the mainstream. The mainstream has normally said, now we don't want to talk to you guys, you're, you, you, you yeah. know, you're Looney Tunes, we're not going to give you a platform. But in this case, it is... It is happening, and um, I have things to say about Malta that I'm going to preserve my ammunition oh, for. Nice. Mm. Can okay. you give us a taste? Hmm? Can you give us a little taste? Uh, you, it's, it's to do with the absolute insecurity of the carbon dating. Okay. Oh, I see. Got it. Do you think there's any submerged pyramids? Um, uh, just f to finish that point, carbon dating, by the way, and again, this is not something that everybody knows. Car carbon dating can only date organic material. Mm -hmm. It can't date um, stone. Stone, mm -hmm. yeah. So, so if you're going to date a megalith according to the organic material found around you, you want to be pretty sure that the organic material dates from the same time as the megalith and wasn't introduced later. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and there's so. no way in proving that it is or it well, isn't, it's right? Well, it's, it's very shield difficult. It. Yeah, yeah it's, very, it's, very, it's very difficult to do. And the fact is there, there are very few carbon dates from Malta and the new dating work that's been done there hasn't added usefully to that database. Mm. And when are you doing this on uh, Joe's pod? So 24th of October. Um, and uh, the, the archaeologist who's going to debate me is called Flint Dibble. Um, he's American, but he teaches at the University of Cardiff in Wales, in Britain. His father was a famous archaeologist called Harold Dibble. Um, and uh, Flint, Flint has been very um, pointed and aggressive in his attacks on me following the Netflix show, which he has every right to be. Um, I had wanted to debate another archaeologist who's called John Hoops from the University of Kansas because he has been by far the most obnoxious in these leveling these ad hominem attacks against me mm. and, and straw men attacks like Hancock says this, Hancock says that when Hancock doesn't say either this or that, mm. you know, but if you, again, if you say it enough, uh, it begins to have an effect. And I, I would have liked to have brought, uh, called John Hoops to account um, and, and uh, invited him to debate me, but unfortunately he backed out and he wouldn't, he wouldn't do it. Flint Dibble, and this is genuine, Flint Dibble has had some health issues, I won't go into the details, um, and we've not been certain until very recently whether he will be able to make it. Mm. And, but kudos to him, it looks like he is going to make it. Great. And what he's doing and what I'm doing on the 24th of October, is we're both putting our reputations on the line. Love this it. is a pay-per-view event. This is a, <laughs> a high-stakes This is a high stakes yes. issue for both me and him. Yes. Because, you know, anything can happen in a debate. Yeah. And, and uh, I, I certainly intend to make sure that I'm properly prepared. I'm yeah. sure he's going to make sure he's properly prepared. I hope we can end up hugging each other and, and finding some common ground yes. rather, yeah, rather than all of this hatred. You know? yeah. Okay.